Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a product that I've been hanging to try. Um, just want to quickly put at the start of this video that this video isn't sponsored. Um, all these opinions are my own and I just wanted to truly try it out because it sounds really good. Um, so what I'm reviewing today is Billy G's Gourmet Cookie and Biscuit Dough. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't know if it's focusing, but I'm going to bring the camera down and show you up close after. So basically this is just um, cookie dough, as I said. I'm just going to let you know the flavours. I only grabbed three flavours out of the two, four, six, eight, nine flavours. So you get white chocolate macadamia, raspberry white chocolate, chop chunk, Anzac biscuit, gluten free chop chunk, triple choc, caramel fudge, doggy biscuit, and gingerbread. Um, so they're all the flavors that you get. I only got caramel fudge, raspberry white chocolate, and choc chunk because they are the three flavors that I thought that my family would eat. So I got them ones. Um, so basically what's cool about this cookie dough is you can actually freeze it over and over again. Um, so it does have instructions on the side on um, keeping it frozen and stuff. So as I said, I do recommend that you do keep it frozen in the freezer. Um, it has got used by dates or best before dates. Um, so the caramel one is the 28th of the 2nd, 2019. The raspberry white chocolate is 13th of the 2nd, 2019. And the choc chunk is 5th of the 2nd, 2019. So I think they may need to be thrown out after that. I'm not too sure though. I'll probably have all these eaten before then anyway. Um, but the keep frozen instructions or guidelines or whatever. Say to thaw the tub at room temperature for about one to two hours to make the cookie, the cookies or the biscuit dough soft for easy scooping out of the tub. Um, after thawing, you can keep it in the refrigerator for up to four weeks, um, and you can just keep refreezing the product. So if you don't want to keep it in the fridge, you can literally just keep it in the freezer the whole time. It doesn't matter. Um, on the box, it also has baking instructions. So they sell cookies and biscuits, shortbread and doggy dough, which is actually a dog biscuit, not for human consumption, um, and gingerbread. So they all have different um, cook times and temperatures. So I think I've only got cookies and biscuits. So mine is preheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 160 fan force. Scoop your desired amount, roll into a bowl, place onto your baking tray. Bake for 14 to 16 minutes, and you can also do it for longer or less, depending if you want harder cookies or softer cookies. So I'm hella excited to try this. Um, if you want any more information or whatever, you can definitely do it to the website. I'll definitely have a link down below. And I think these are only available if you do like a fundraiser or something. Um, so I purchased mine from my friend's son's kindy. They ended up doing the cookie fundraiser. And... Um, I personally find that cookie dough would probably be a lot better than, you know, how they do the fundraisers with the chocolate bars. I think cookie dough is a really, really good idea, like way better than chocolate bars. So anyway, um, I'm going to bring you down to, so I can make sure that it's focused, to have a look at the actual cookie dough in the tub and have a look at the containers and stuff. So let's come down here and check it out. So these are the top of the containers. As you can see, there's the use by date right there. Um, so this just has all the nutritional stuff, ingredients, um, allergy, whatever, stuff like that. So I'm going to take the lids off now. I, I have already opened them. So this is the chop chunk one. The caramel fudge one and they smell really, really good. And my friend that I bought them from says she eats them raw out the tub. I, I don't know if that's like bad for you or something, I don't know. like, But yeah, so... That's a raspberry and white chocolate, but I would probably eat them out the tub too because I might even try them raw for you just to see what they're like. These have been in the fridge, so they're quite hard. Um, this is the container. They're pretty nice packaging. And on the back, this is the cooking instructions and the just other information and whatnot. But yeah, so let's get started into cooking them. So I'm going to get my tray ready and put you back on the tripod and we'll get on with it. Alright, so I've just put some baking paper on a tray and I also have a spoon. So I'm going to just do this, I guess. So we'll start off with chop chunk. I think they may be a little bit hard because they've been in the fridge, but we'll work with it. Alright, so I've got my first chunk and it says to roll it into a ball. Oh, 
I'll do like a couple of each. I don't know how big they're gonna go or anything, so I'll just do two of each just to see what it's like. So that's them on there. They look pretty good. Excuse my old oven. <laughs> oh. All right, let's put them in. leave them on here to cool for a minute and then I'll put them on the tray. All right these are pretty much cool now so I'm just gonna put them on the wire rack and then we'll do a taste test. They've hardened up nicely they're really really good. They look good. I like it. All right so now that we've got the biscuits made I'm gonna do the taste test now. So I think we'll start off with the chalk chunk, go to the raspberry and white chalk and then go down to the caramel. So the this is the chalk chunk, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I don't know if it's focusing or whatever, but they turned out pretty good. I'm just gonna break it and it's like really nice, like a really nice cookie. Mm. That's good. Mm -mm. That is a nice cookie. The bottom is a bit, not burnt, but a bit more darker than I think it's supposed to be, but that could just be my oven because I did leave it in for a little bit longer. But that was good. Same with on these ones, the bottom's a little bit dark, but I could have left them in a bit too long. They just didn't look ready, but I think they are ready, even if they're not heaps brown. So this is the raspberry and white chalk. Mm. It's really nice. Oh, here's a chunk of raspberry. So the caramel one was interesting. Um, yeah. In the cookie dough, it's actually got like liquid caramel through it, so that's what all this caramelization is the, the caramel, and yeah, these just look great. They smell good too. That's good. Yum. That is just so good. Wow. Yum. I just gotta get a drink of milk. Alright, so Caden just got home from school not long ago and we've just cooked up another batch of those cookies. So are you going to give your opinion? Yeah, I'm going fishy. It's squish on top I say, it's squishy! Alright, try it now. We need the taste factor. What would you rate it out of 10? Probably a... Uh, half 7. What do you rate it? Out of 10, what do you give it? What number? One. One? All of us together, that's an eight and a half. That's a pretty good score. Yep. <laughs> Too bad at all. Oh, it's a bit bad. Don't. What do you, and the boys rated them. Jackson rated them a one, and Caden rated them a seven and a half. Mm. What do you rate it? If I was the cookie monster, I wouldn't say no. Ooh. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video here because I'm probably gonna eat the rest of these cookies now and I'm gonna have to cook some more for Jesse and the boys to try. But anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you for my next video, guys.
Bye.